Good morning, everybody. Uh, last day, yesterday, we discussed about the uh, sewage pipe system in Japan and the gas pipeline system and the, uh, some sphere inspection technique. And today, we discuss about the robotics, crowding robotics. First, introduction to pipe crowding robotics. And, and next is a single and multi-axis crowding robotics in Kwasa University. Okay. And finally, the wireless transmission is important. So we discuss about the transmission property in the pipe. So transmission test in steel pipe and ceramic pipe today. And yesterday, uh, tomorrow, I will explain more, uh, um, more additional information about the wireless pipe inspection system. Today is discuss about the crowding robot robotics and the basic transmission property in, in the pipe. Okay. Then the first part, the introduction to pipe crowding robot, uh, Mr. Nayang explained and uh, single and multi-access crowding robot also, and Mr. Inaya present you, okay? After uh, transmission test in steel pipe and uh, ceramic pipe property, I will explain, okay? Janayam, please. Hi. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Nayan Jatikwesha and uh, Previously, I was working here as a project associate in uh, development of pipe, pipe crowding robot, and currently I'm pursuing PhD at Waseda University. So today I will give you a brief introduction about uh, the different types of robots uh, which are uh, uh, which are developed by diff many researchers, different researchers in, in different area. I'll give you a brief inter introduction about that. So. As uh, yesterday, uh, it was discussed that uh, pipelines are used uh, uh, vastly in, uh, for transporting gas, water, or se uh, sewage. So uh, we can see that uh, uh, this is a example of corridor pipe. So uh, because of this uh, uh, service or some uh, chemical inside the pipe, the health of pipe uh, deteriorates. Uh, it, it deteriorates. So we need to check, we need to know how, what is the health, uh, current health. And, uh, and here are some uh, accidents, past accident I have mentioned, so uh, which uh, claim many people life and that, that's why it is very important to uh, know uh, uh, the health of uh, pipe. So many researcher in past, uh, they are, uh, they work toward uh, development of uh, crowing robots and uh, Basically, uh, crawling robots we can uh, categorize, in, uh, categorize into these uh, categories by uh, their motion. In, uh, if you categorize, categorize them, how they move. So uh, there are eight types. Sorry, seven types. First one is uh, pig type. It is a, it is a passive uh, passive robot, and it work on differential uh, differential pre pressure. So. Uh, this uh, pig, it will block uh, the flow, and uh, since there will be a, di a difference in pressure in front side and back side, that will uh, that will force the robot to move forward. Se second one is wheel type. This is this one is active uh, active uh, uh, drive type vehicle. So uh, uh, motors are used uh, uh, in uh, in wheels, motor gears, uh, transmissions are used. Uh, in uh, uh, for uh, forwarding this um, vehicle inside the pipe. Third one is uh, track based type, and also called as caterpillar type. So uh, wherever uh, we need more traction force, uh, we uh, we use track uh, track belt system. Maybe if there is uh, some grease or water, then we should use uh, track uh, track belt type system. Second one is uh, uh, wall press type. So what happens? It uh, it's like inchworm. Uh, you uh, it clamps the wall first. First, uh, first pair will clamp the uh, uh, wall uh, uh, wall, 
then it's move inside like that and then second pair uh, then rear pair, pair it will clamp like that then uh, the uh, other one is uh, leg leg base it's like uh, uh, insects uh, they uh, they crawl inside pipe like that uh, this one is uh, again inchworm uh, here uh, uh, the difference between these two is uh, here uh, they use uh, 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 magnetic uh, 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 ma magnetic force to clamp and here it is like pneumatic and third uh, and the last one is spiral type it is also a passive uh, passive uh, robot and it is used where uh, uh, the resistance from uh, the fluid is more so to come uh, to come over the resistance uh, the spiral drive is used now uh, this is uh, one of the, uh, uh, the design concept uh, developed uh, developed in 1987 and uh, it is a simple mechanism where uh, uh, they have three uh, three wheels this is a driving wheel it is an active drive and uh, these two are sp spherical bearing so what happened is uh, uh, it's a, sh a shape of A. And uh, one spring is in between. So uh, whenever uh, there is a change in uh, pipe diameter, uh, if there is a change in pipe diameter, this is an exaggerated view. But then this legs, it get uh, uh, the distance between the leg, it, it, uh, it increases. and uh, because of this spring, there will be constant traction force. So, uh, 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 this mechanism is uh, used to uh, overcome this kind of uh, uh, defects in pipe. It, it should not stuck, uh, robot should not stuck in pipe uh, uh, because of this kind of de defect. Moreover, uh, if, uh, if the pipe have uh, irregular cross section like maybe something like that, then since this uh, 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 this spring is uh, constantly pulling uh, uh, pulling uh, these two legs so it it has a tendency to have uh, this height as a maximum so wherever it find uh, the maximum uh, uh, diameter it will move to that position uh, if uh, suppose robot is traveling in in this direction and uh, it find this diameter uh, this diameter is less then it will adjust itself uh, adjust, adjust because these these wheels are spherical wheel so it can uh, uh, it can uh, traverse in a horizontal direction also so uh, wherever there is a uh, maximum uh, diameter the robot adjusts it itself to that diameter second one is uh, it's also kind of similar uh, so similar robot it is uh, 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 Mogrer, Mogrer robot and it was also developed in uh, 1987 and uh, the difference is uh, they have used this uh, lever uh, for the, uh, to mount this spring uh, this lever uh, uh, is used to maximize uh, maximize the force uh, traction force so earlier uh, earlier uh, in early, uh, in last model it was like it was like that uh, so this lever, uh, they can change the angle angle theta and opt, uh, and find and find the optimum value of the theta so that the traction force on the uh, on the wall is maximum. Now uh, the th third type of robot is a uh, articulated uh, uh, multi multi vehicle robot. Uh, this uh, here uh, I have shown only the driving part. This uh, uh, this part this module is used to drive the robot so articulated uh, means it, it will have uh, many other section like uh, ultrasonic and other section those sections are like passive so uh, it, it's not passive uh, basically this uh, module it will carry carry those sections so uh, here uh, the this robot is uh, designed for uh, 520 to 800 mm dia it can vary uh, between these two dia and it can maximum distance it can travel is 150 meter. Uh, 
harmonic uh, harmonic gears are were used uh, uh, for high torque and this uh, this front two wheel are uh, uh, magnum magnum wheels so magnum wheels uh, it has a property that it can uh, uh, it can either uh, translate in uh, in uh, in, purple, in in perpendicular direction also like if it is moving in x direction then it can move in y direction also uh, maybe i will show you a video of uh, how it translate i will show you a video at the end of uh, this presentation and the height adjustment is uh, done using a uh, pneumatic cylinder so compressed air is used uh, uh, to press this part and hence this part move up and uh, like that uh, to adjust in various diameter uh, uh, this mechanism is useful so they use basically they use uh, two two of such module one at front and one at back uh, the front will pull obviously and the back will push the whole entire module this is another kind of mechanism pantograph mechanism i will explain the kinematics in the in next next presentation so here the traction force traction force is maintained by this spring and only drawback is like this two wheel are always parallel so if this wheel face any any anomaly so this will we also move so it will lose tractions and uh, yeah this is a, uh, a model developed uh, at uh, at their lab and uh, each module is connected using uh, double active uh, uh, double active univer universal joint so uh, what is uh, uh, this double active universal joint is like a you can uh, if you if you want to steer the vehicle you can uh, you can control the angle of uh, the, uh, this joint in between in between this uh, uh, two module they will install install one double active uh, uh, double active universal joint uh, using motors you can control the angle of uh, the pre uh, pre uh, previous module so that you can uh, it can uh, go inside uh, elbows or bends like that and yeah uh, 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 this is one uh, uh, one of that mechanism three of uh, this mechanism will be used in like here you can see one two and three one back side three will be used to uh, for stable movement of the robot this is uh, one type mean spec uh, mean spec four uh, earlier also they have worked uh, there are previous uh, model like three uh, one two three and uh, the advantage here is uh, the front wheel and back wheel they are independently uh, independently uh, they can move uh, they can uh, adjust the diameter in independently so whatever uh, when the fr uh, first wheel it uh, faces any uh, anomaly an anomaly this this wheel it doesn't uh, lose uh, the uh, contact between pipe walls so uh, uh, it is better for stable it is better uh, it is better stable than the previous one and this uh, uh, this robot is uh, developed for uh, tested in 4 inch dia pipe and uh, and uh, since it is a active uh, active uh, uh, active type uh, uh, crawling robot each we uh, each wheel are supported uh, are uh, powered by servo motors and uh, differential uh, drives are uh, you can uh, vary the speed of uh, wheel uh, wheel so that it can pass through elbows because in elbows uh, uh, when it takes turn one should uh, all wheels should not have the same uh, velocity otherwise uh, it will skid like that so to avoid that uh, differential speed drive they have used to uh, to pass through elbows and bend this is a hydraulic brush mecha mechanism and uh, it, it use compressed air uh, to propel this robot so it's uh, also an active but the uh, the actuation force is by compressed air so uh, what happens this uh, this uh, bristles are steel bristles these are stiff uh, stiff bristles so uh, since these bristles are in a uh, in an angle it uh, it resists the movement in this di in this direction so so 
so what happened is uh, like this is a pipe wall so uh, 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 what happened? first uh, this part they uh, they use uh, uh, pist piston and cylinder to uh, move. So, uh, what happened when uh, they uh, apply uh, compressed air? This, since this part it cannot move back because these bristles are uh, in in this uh, in uh, forward forward angle. So, this part cannot move back. So, what happened? This part it will slide forward, and when they take out. Uh, 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 they uh, uh, take out air from that, so uh, this part compresses, and since this part cannot move back, this part come forward. So like that, it will move uh, gradually. This is uh, one. Uh, this is another uh, uh, novel uh, uh, development uh, in pipe chlorine robot, and uh, it also uses uh, bristles. The only thing is, this one is uh, passive, and. Uh, this one uh, it can move in uh, both uh, with the flow or against the flow the mechanism is like uh, the the most important part is this uh, uh, double screw thread so double screw thread are like uh, uh, they have uh, both uh, the forward uh, uh, forward forward thread and the backward thread so once this uh, half nut it reaches the end it will follow the other 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 kind of thread. So what happens uh, because of air flow, because of the fluid uh, fluid inside the pipe, it rotates. Uh, this turbine is uh, this turbine get rotates, and and since this is a lead screw, this part will come forward. So this uh, this uh, these two are in a part, and these two are at, uh, these bristles are attached to this half nut. So this this part it come forward and this part is stationary. So and then when it reach this part reaches to the end, it's uh, uh, it is taking the other it, it will take the other thread and uh, and since this is rotating, so this part will start moving and this part will be stationary. So this can be used uh, for moving the vehicle in. Uh, Against the flow or uh, uh, to, uh, or with the flow, so th and this is a, a, a very good advantage of this kind of uh, robot. And then the uh, this one is uh, automatic uh, tractive uh, tractive force ad adjusting. What happen is it's a pantograph uh, type model, and uh, they have used uh, one uh, pressure sensor here, and. Uh, this is and this part is just sliding uh, 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 sliding over this lead screw so uh, what, uh, to maintain the uh, tractive force so that uh, the while maybe while climbing uh, uh, climbing a vertical pipe or a uh, angle inclined pipe the tra tra if traction force is less then the robot will uh, it won't able to climb it will slip back so to maintain uh, traction force uh, this uh, press uh, this pressure sensor it will continuously uh, examine the pressure uh, pressure applied by uh, uh, this uh, this sliding brush uh, on that pressure sensor if uh, pressure if if pressure drops then there's a uh, motor servo motor here it uh, rotates ac accordingly to increase or decrease the height if it increases the height, the pressure automatically increases, and uh, it will increase till the uh, till the uh, threshold amount is reached. This is another mechanism. It's a it's a, it's a, a inchworm mechanism, and uh, uh, it is inspired uh, by inchworm. Uh, inchworm. The, uh, in nature, we have inchworm, so it is inspired by that. And uh, as a energy source. Uh, Compressed air is, is used to move the, uh, move this uh, robot, and uh, this is just uh, this is one unit, and uh, the one unit is connected to another another unit by using universal joint, universal joint, and uh, this particular mechanism is inspired uh, by our by uh, the umbrella. 
uh, if you if we remove this this link from here to here then we can see this uh, this lambda kind of shape we can uh, find in umbrella so whenever we uh, close this this part extends and uh, umbrella opens so it is inspired by that uh, what happen is this uh, this force this force is uh, uh, developed by compressed air so uh, the uh, compressed air you used to push uh, this uh, block forward and uh, and this clamp it uh, moves upward so uh, what happen when uh, uh, this first this uh, this part will clamp and then again uh, compressed air is used to uh, contract this part after that after this contraction is over they will cl uh, they will cl clamp this part using com uh, compressed air and uh, release this part and then again it will uh, they, they will expand so like that uh, it will have a inchworm type uh, motion and uh, advantage of this is it is uh, uh, it can easily pass through uh, bends uh, it, uh, you don't have to uh, 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 go for uh, differential speed of wheels uh, like that so whenever it find bends it it will automatically uh, because it's a, a universal joint it will automatically uh, take take that turn uh, this is a uh, earlier i showed one uh, uh, mean spec uh, 4 this is mean spec 5 and uh, this is developed and tested in 8 inch dia pipe and the change they have made is they have uh, introduced one uh, clutch uh, cl uh, clutch based uh, wheel drive system so uh, what happened is like uh, uh, there are three kind of this this uh, legs uh, uh, three type of legs here and uh, when when the robot moves in horizontal pipe uh, we do not need uh, lot of uh, traction force only one one wheel is uh, sufficient to pr provide that traction force so to save energy what they use is they will uh, <coughs> they will uh, open the clutch and make other wheels free similarly <coughs> while taking turn in elbow they will uh, uh, they will make this uh, other wheels free so we don't have to care about uh, the differential drive we don't have to care about the velocity of the, uh, this uh, other other two because uh, 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 it will adjust ac accordingly. But if uh, if if uh, the robot need to travel in uh, inclined or vertical pipe, so traction force is uh, traction force required is more. At that time, they will uh, switch on the clutch, and all wheels will work. Here, uh, it has shown uh, uh, in differential uh, differential drive, like in maybe. Uh, some elbow and it is uh, in vertical direction so differential drive can also be used plus all wheels at a time can be used and single wheel can be used so uh, using this uh, uh, method uh, they try to optimize or re uh, reduce the energy consumption of by the robot this is uh, another uh, adaptive uh, mobile uh, uh, mobile robot and uh, advantage of this robot is it can <coughs> it can come over uh, uh, difference in uh, difference in pipe section very easily I will explain the me mechanism what happened this uh, there are six uh, this this uh, uh, wheels are in angle and only this this uh, wheel they are uh, uh, they are uh, kind of uh, parallel to the uh, to the to the plane so whenever if there is a uh, diameter change like uh, maybe like this so the first this these three all are uh, separate separate modules so it rotate uh, individually this rotate individually and this is fixed this is a stator module so uh, uh, whenever the first set of wheel it reaches here and it cannot move uh, it cannot uh, uh, move so what happened they activate this uh, second module they activate the second module and since it is a uh, it it is in uh, angle so because uh, uh, it will provide additional thrust to the robot to overcome this kind of uh, changes in pipe 
and once the first first part uh, the first part it crosses this uh, this cross section so then uh, and the second part it comes to th this cross section uh, since this now this uh, first part is free to move so it will pull the whole robot and similarly it will uh, help in moving here they have uh, installed some paddles here uh, this paddles uh, these are also in inclined uh, plane and uh, it helps in uh, when there is a fluid fluid flowing so this uh, pedal helps to rotate uh, this uh, rotor uh, rotor so it uh, provides additional thrust to move this uh, robot uh, forward this is uh, another uh, robot yesterday uh, sir also discussed about this kind of this type of uh, track belt system so uh, these robots are usually used uh, when uh, traction force is more when uh, uh, when we need uh, more traction force maybe in uh, greasy area or uh, the payload of robot is more so uh, at that time we use uh, uh, th this kind of robot are uh, advisable so what happened is this uh, uh, this wheel uh, are driven by this servo and uh, also these wheels are driven by this servo but uh, there, there is a gear uh, gear in between them so uh, now uh, also here they have one potentiometer and a uh, and a torsion spring to uh, so that this angle is maintained and if there is a bend this uh, angle changes and uh, from the reading of potentiometer we can get how much there is a curve and uh, while moving in bend what happens is uh, this uh, this phi uh, the algorithm used here is like they they always want to uh, equalize this phi and here here will be some phi so they want to equalize, equalize that phi so uh, what they do if there is any change in this they will increase the speed of this part and reduce the speed of this part so automatically uh, it will be done till this these two phi are same like till they come to this uh, this position so uh, like that it is uh, 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 it can travel through bends this is a, a shape memory uh, based type uh, shape memory alloy based type inchworm mechanism shape memory uh, uh, is a, a kind of material that we when you it remembers its shape when you uh, when you apply some temperature it uh, uh, it uh, uh, goes back to uh, its uh, mem it um, uh, its shape that it memorizes so uh, what they have done is this four spring this four spring are made up of sma sma spring uh, shape memory alloy spring and uh, uh, the mechanism is like they here uh, uh, they have uh, small motors so it is uh, similar to that in inch one mechanism what they do is uh, they uh, and this this is connected by a string so they turn this motor and the distance between these two plate is reduced and uh, hence this uh, friction strip it expands and it uh, clamps the pipe wall so once it clamps so they uh, uh, they heat the coil and reduce the uh, reduce this distance and uh, once they reduce this distance they will uh, using the same mechanism they will uh, clamp uh, they will clamp this part and then again uh, the same motion, motion will follow to move uh, move forward so uh, and in uh, ben uh, they uh, heat this springs in uh, in uh, with different temperature so uh, suppose uh, if this spring is uh, uh, contracting more and this spring is contracting less so it will automatically turn so like that uh, they uh, use, uh, they can control the movement of the robot the next one is uh, mechanical clutch uh, clutch type uh, uh, retrieval mechanism so what happens is uh, uh, most of these uh, robots are <coughs> uh, tethered by cable so if it stuck somewhere it is very difficult to pull uh, uh, with that cable so for retrieving they uh, use this uh, clutch based uh, uh, clutch based 
this and for for that they have used this uh, mechanical mechanical clutch so uh, uh, one more thing this uh, this two uh, this is a lead screw where this screw and this screw are in opposite direction so when uh, whenever uh, it has uh, one motion uh, it will rotate in one direction then this uh, this slider and this slider will move uh, apart from each other or it will come uh, uh, come towards each other so uh, whenever uh, the operator it, he uh, he or uh, he feels like uh, uh, the robot is stuck what uh, what they command is like uh, to activate this uh, there is a motor here to activate this part and and uh, the length is changed so that this uh, this wheel get engaged with the wall and these wheels they get released so uh, and these wheels are free wheel this uh, these are drive wheels uh, th this is idle wheel this uh, uh, this is the drive wheel and this wheel is free wheel so uh, when they engage this uh, free wheel uh, with the wall, pipe wall so it is easy to uh, retract the retract the robot this is a, a another uh, a kind of uh, robot and it is developed for uh, 80 inch uh, uh, sorry 80 uh, 80 and uh, 80 to 100 mm dia pi pipe is a very simple mechanism and since uh, it's a it is a flat mechanism uh, there are a lot of space uh, uh, this space uh, can be used to mount um, more sensors more sensors or carry battery like that or memory units uh, it's uh, it is also based on uh, 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 parallel parallel bar mechani mechanism uh, there are uh, spring here so to adjust any high change uh, this uh, springs they t they take care. There are four springs, so they take care of this high change uh, inside the pipe. Yeah, and uh, this uh, this front wheels are steerable wheels. So uh, if you want, uh, if uh, if the operator wants to drive the vehicle in spiral way, so it can be achieved. It's uh, another mechanism called uh, quarter mechanism, adaptable quarter mechanism. So uh, the advantage of this mechanism is it can uh, move through uh, uh, bend where this 90 degree, 90 degree this, this is a sharp, sharp end bend usually uh, in uh, uh, gas pipeline and all we don't see uh, sharp bend like this but maybe in some pipe uh, we may find sharp bend like that so uh, to uh, and the other uh, other robot whatever robot uh, I have discussed before those are not capable of uh, uh, passing through this uh, sharp uh, sharp 90 degree bends and also if the if there is a change in diameter uh, in pipe in pipe usually uh, many pipes are like there will be some uh, uh, some small pipe connected to uh, to the main pipe so earlier robot they were not able to move through that but uh, they have developed this mechanism uh, so that it can move uh, through small pipe what they do is they will uh, they will stop uh, they will uh, uh, stop this uh, rotation of this two wheel and they will move this two wheel in uh, opposite direction until it reaches this position and once it reaches this position they will start moving in uh, other direction so that it start start climbing this is a uh, uh, this uh, type of robots are called peristaltic uh, uh, crawling robot and uh, they are uh, 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 they are inspired from uh, earthworms. So here, these uh, black uh, uh, part are ca carbon fiber, and the white part is some stretchable membrane. So carbon fiber, as it is, uh, as they are stiff, they do not stretch. So what happened is uh, uh, when they uh, apply compressed air. So since carbon fiber length, it cannot stretch. So it uh, bulges so this part bulges and similarly uh, when it bulges it clamps the wall also it clamps the wall and also it uh, this distance get redu reduced so uh, first they will activate this then they will activate this like that a whole uh, part will uh, come front and then again they will start releasing one by one so that uh, like uh, like simple uh, earthworm earthworm also it do it uh, uh, it moves 
in this manner. So, uh, these are uh, the robots, uh, these are not the only robots, uh, uh, there are many robots, I have, I have chosen a few of them. So, and the references are here, uh, I will upload uh, in, uh, uh, in website and you can go through the references. Thank you very much. If you have any question. No, universal uh, spherical joint have uh, uh, yeah double active. Uh, uh, I will tell you uh, first. Universal jo joint is like they have two degree of freedom, and spherical joint they have three degree of freedom. So. Double, double active. Double active is like uh, there are uh, two universal joint, and uh, one is controlled by uh, motors, and uh, other is free. So uh, it is like uh, if uh, uh, if you don't want to, uh, if, if if it automatically uh, changes, uh, 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 it can automatically change the uh, direction, and you can control also. Suppose you want to control the uh, uh, the forward wheel, a uh, forward module. You can control that. There, there are two motors to use uh, this uh, to control the two degree of freedom of that. Uh, uh, I, I, I can forward you one paper uh, 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 regarding uh, this double active uh, universal joint. There uh, you can find more detail. Show that video you said of the wind. Ah, yes, pardon. So, it, it can move in, suppose this is x direction, this is y direction, so it can move in perpendicular direction or any other uh, direction also, depending on uh, how you choose the rotation of this wheels. So, this is an, an another. Uh, I found one another video. I will. This is uh, this is a very new uh, development in a pipe growing robot. I don't have. Uh, can sir sound? Uh, we. Okay. Uh, uh, I will. I will explain. Uh, uh, it's like <coughs> cockroach. Uh, cockroaches are uh, their uh, back. Uh, it's like it can. Uh, take uh, very uh, different load. It like uh, sometimes we step on cockroach, but it do not die. So that uh, inspired, uh, I think, uh, University of Berkeley. Uh, I'm not sure, but uh, they uh, they developed this uh, robot so uh, so that it can crawl through very narrow pipes. It will uh, it can take a, a load up to nine nine times of its own weight. Nine or ninety. I'm not sure if in video that was. A key, uh, yes. um, uh, apology for sound, but I will forward the link. This. Now the ceiling height is uh, earlier it was uh, 12 mm now it's 3 mm. So what happens it squeezes itself and passes through here it's 6 mm. It can take I think 900 times of its weight. So researchers they were uh, inspired by this. Uh, And here they uh, actually they showed that it can move fast also. Means in real time it can move fast inside a small uh, space also. So they have developed this uh, crawler robot.
so uh, their intention is to uh, 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 to use this robot in disaster uh, di uh, in some uh, earthquake area or something like that for detecting life inside debris or like that. For yes, uh, yeah, I think I think yes, 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 yes. So maybe yeah, they have used. Pardon? In, in single in, in, in single and multi axis I will show you. Yes. So uh, that's all for today's presentation and um, for this first lecture. Yes, uh, you have any question? In quad arm mechanism, yes. how they know that there is a like upward? They are, yeah, uh, there will be a camera. Uh, most of these uh, uh, robots, they are equipped with camera. So, uh, like if there is a bend, then it is stopped for a moment. Ah, yes. So uh, these all are uh, controlled using uh, 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 tethered cable. They are using uh, they are, uh, they use tethered cable to control this, and maybe in future uh, some uh, autonomous detecting. Uh, there are research going on in detecting bends and uh, bends uh, uh, automatically. So if that happens, then what possibly in future it will automatically detect and move through bends. In fact, uh, Ogai sir, your lab, uh, Tham Kung, he is working in uh, automatically uh, detecting uh, bends. Yes. So. Diameter of 5.6 of robots are always comparable? Comparable. Comparable. The dimensions of 5 and dimensional robots are just nearby matching. Ah, it has to because. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, they may not be actually. Yeah, in uh, most of this uh, uh, robot, uh, where, where whatever I have showed, they will usually clamp. Uh, uh, yeah, it will always uh, have a traction force on the wall. But there are some robots which uh, do not have to, which uh, just simply uh, walks through uh, inside, like like the cockroach one. No? It will work. So you can change the. Uh, you have different diameter. Yes. 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 Uh, these problem. Uh, what are the problems? These problems can be reduced. Which problem? I suppose uh, some uh, some diameter is much and some rate is low. Yeah, uh, but uh, it won't have the uh, traction force. If you need uh, more traction force, suppose vertical, vertical. Uh, if you want to, uh, your robot should climb vertical. So it has to climb uh, walls. So. That robot will only move in horizontal, like in sugar sugar pipes. It is uh, advisable, but like in gas pipeline, it has to cl clamp. <coughs> Moreover, uh, means if you have any doubt further, uh, you can mail me. Uh, I'll write my mail ID. You can mail me. I will. I will happy to reply. Yes. Suppose we are saying that he is lost in your pipe. There is an optical fiber cable that is going on that is your pipe. Yes. So suppose if you are having another cable. Yes. And that is going too far along this flexible line. Yes. And your robot is crawling. Yes. And your rotating also. Mm -hmm. How you will manage that rotation? Uh, so there is another pipe. In uh, in sugar pipe. Uh, this uh, the same uh, I to, uh, told no? uh, those. Uh, it's not like uh, you have to clamp uh, walls. Yeah, you don't. Uh, yeah, you don't have. Means robot do not have to clamp wall. Usually, no. no I, this spiral robots are used in where uh, like crude oil, where viscosity is uh, too much. The robot cannot move. Uh, uh, 
properties forward very easily. So in there, spiral you are used or peaks are used. In but in sewer pipeline, uh, uh, usually uh, those uh, robot are used which do not have to clamp the wall. Clamp what? No, it do not have to clamp. Like it do not have to hold uh, walls. It will just uh, uh, like a, a car. It will move. But all the robots are having a diameter, having a cross section of accordingly. This, this. All the robots are having no, no. the same. No, all, all robots are not like that. That's what he asked uh, uh, whether it is required to have uh, same dia or not. But this type of robot, whichever you have to this, consider ah. it and back side and outside. Yes. So, uh, so that those robots are not used in uh, Shiva pipeline because uh, uh, if you want to cover the circumference, why you want to cover the circumference is basically. Uh, sensors, see. Then the side, side should be same as that of pipe. No, it's, it's, it's not uh, necessary. Because you can use laser sensor, no? Or video based sensor. Or video based sensor. So only the question is if probe will rotate or something, a scanner or some camera will rotate, there is another point, there is another cable that is mounted on the top surface or bottom surface or maybe bit mid line. Okay, so uh, let me, <laughs> let me yeah. try. If, if this is your sugar pipe, no? Yeah. What? Uh, uh, in usually, where is your optical yeah, uh, maybe where somewhere here, somewhere here. Okay, so one or two. <laughs> that uh, <laughs> that one, uh, uh, I'm not sure how much. Yeah, yeah, on on, on top. Yeah, uh, but uh, the that robot is always in your wheel mode, so that so will not feel entirely. So it will be robot will be like like this. Okay. Yeah, it will. So uh, whatever sensor you want to mount, like any laser sensor, so. The laser sensor will uh, rotate, so it will only uh, uh, reflect and from the wall. Side, then the, the area, hidden area. Which one hidden area? That is behind the, the yeah. optical cable. Pardon? Behind the optical cable. Oh, behind the optical cable. Yeah. <laughs> that is you have to as a, assume as for <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's, uh, I don't know, I, I, I'm and not aware. You can have unclustered sensors. Yeah. Sensor. yeah. yeah. Yes, mo uh, mostly. But if, if there is crude oil in the pipe, then what will you do? Then laser sensor will not work. Ah, yeah. If uh, if there is a crude oil, crude oil pipes are uh, uh, most of these robots, they can be used in crude oil pipe. Then the size should be same. As a yes, yes. In uh, uh, see uh, uh, when uh, when we want to match, why we want to match size of uh, robot to the uh, 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 size of pipe. When we want to block uh, uh, block the flow, or when you use differential pressure to move the robot, so that at that time, so uh, like in uh, crude oil or gas pipeline, th those are long, uh, very long uh, distance pipeline. So there, there we cannot use active drive. So we we have to use passive. So what we do, we use uh, uh, this circumference circumference to block the flow and create differential pressure to move the robot forward. Thank you. Let us see the